Welcome to Highway 4 Fun. I'm Sandy and I'm going to take you on a ride on the beautiful Ebbets Pass Scenic Byway. It's 61 miles of fun along Highway 4 from Arnold, California in Calaveras County all the way to Highway 89 in Markleyville in Alpine County. Today is a great day to go because the Ebbets Pass Scenic Byway Association is hosting its fifth annual scenic celebration. Let's go for a ride. Ebbets Pass is a vital link to two state parks, Calaveras Big Trees and Grover Hot Springs. These bookends define the byway corridor. At the beginning of the route in Arnold, the vegetation landscape consists of pine, fir, cedar, oak, maple, and dogwood trees. Within the park boundaries are the amazing groves of the giant sequoia, which are among the largest and oldest species known. From Arnold to well above Dorrington, the black oaks and the big leaf maple trees will announce the closing of summer with vibrant fall colors. Aspen, located in the higher elevations, are the next to display glorious colors in preparation for winter. By the 5,500 to 7,500 feet, feet elevation, the lodgepole pine, silver pine, Jeffrey pine, red fir, and Sierra juniper dominate the landscape. Ebbets Pass was designated as a California State Scenic Highway in 1971 and was honored with National Scenic Byway status on September 22, 2005 by the U.S. Department of Transportation in Washington, D.C. It is one of only seven nationally designated byways in California and only one of 151 in the nation. The Ebbets Pass National Scenic Byway Association was formed as a nonprofit in 2006 to preserve and enhance this area. Check out their comprehensive website at scenic4.org. They're doing great work. Whether you are seeking mountain activities or a high country driving experience, Ebbets Pass offers visitors spectacular scenery at every turn. As you wind your way through the awe-inspiring California Alps, you will experience elevation changes from approximately 4,000 to 8,700 feet. Unlike any other Sierra Pass, it was silver that built Ebbets Pass. With the discovery of gold on the western slope of the Sierra Nevada, Native American trails were transformed into dirt roads by fortune seekers heading west. In 1861, the route reversed direction and became a booming toll road transporting silver miners to the east side of the Comstock Lode. It was first surveyed in the 1850s as a possible railroad crossing, and it is one of the oldest Trans-Sierra routes there is. The annual Ebbets Pass Scenic Byway Celebration is held on the second Saturday of September each year, and this year it was Hermit Fest and took place appropriately in Hermit Valley. There were booze, food, music, good times, and more. The intermittent thunderstorms kept the dust to a minimum and didn't dampen spirits in the least. The nonstop music and changing crowd kept things interesting all day long. This year's music lineup included Jens Jarvie, Grover Anderson, Jesse and the Tour Guides, and Still Bill. So plan to explore the Ebbets Pass Scenic Byway during their celebration next year on the second Saturday of September. Ebbets Pass is a truly unique and unparalleled driving experience. From Arnold and Lake Alpine to the west and from Markleyville and Silver Creek to the east, the road is a standard two-lane state highway that is maintained for year-round travel. However, the section of road in between Lake Alpine and Silver Creek narrows dramatically with no center line and no shoulders as it slowly winds its way up and over the Sierra Crest. One of the things I love the most about the scenic byway is the access to so many outstanding recreational activities. When it's warm, you can hike, backpack, camp, road or mountain bike, you can ride horses, you can picnic, you can canoe, kayak, fish, hunt, rock climb, or geocache. In the winter, the pass closes at Lake Alpine and it becomes truly a winter wonderland with downhill and cross-country skiing, snowboarding, snowshoeing, sledding, or riding snowmobiles. In my opinion, it's some of the finest and most extensive outdoor recreation available anywhere. 
Most of the prominent peaks within the byway corridor are remnant volcanic flows that stood above the glaciers. They have successfully resisted erosion for millions of years. The valleys below generally were scoured to the granite bedrock. This is apparent at Lake Alpine and many other locations where volcanic bluffs form the skyline with sculpted granite bedrock in the foreground. Evidence of the glaciers exist along the roadside near Big Meadow. Huge boulders were stripped from the high country and plowed to the side as the glaciers advanced. The Sierra and her bounty of treasures lies literally at the road's shoulders. Majestic giant sequoias, craggy granite boulder monsters, lacy dogwood blossoms, ancient volcanic peaks, gnarled junipers, sprawling forests, deep canyon vistas, billowing clouds, delicate cascading waterfalls, meandering rivers, flashy quaking aspen, fragrant meadows of native wildflowers, and pristine alpine lakes. Around each bend and turn, drivers encounter a brilliant display of colors, especially during the spring and summer months when native wildflowers proliferate the mountainsides. Thank you for joining me on the ride today of this super scenic Ebbets Pass National Scenic Byway. I had a good time and I hope you did too. Have fun out there.